you have an interesting story with Home and Electric. You started as an intern, I heard, back in 1997. Yes. The company, you were studying for college, uh, yeah. your college degree in electrical engineering. So what drew you to the industry and then to Hellman? Sure. So, yes, I did start as, a, as an intern here at Hellman in 1997. Um, what drew me to the industry was actually my dad. Uh, my dad, I grew up going to my father's projects and he built high rises for a living. So the construction industry and engineering um, were always something that captivated me. And, um, you know, going to, you know, as a young kid, going into these buildings and seeing them being constructed 60 stories in the air, 70 stories in the air, you know, it was, it was something that I just, you know, I felt like I wanted to be a part of that. So I actually, I actually went to school uh, to get my structural engineering degree. Um, and, uh, when I was in school in 93, 94, um, started to see a shift into uh, mobile. Uh, there was a lot of, a, a lot of telecommunication um, businesses were growing and thriving. They started to really um, explore wireless communications and that sort of thing. And um, it just intrigued me. So I made a decision to shift from structural engineering to electrical engineering, and I concentrated in in uh, communication systems. And uh, in my senior year, uh, I was working with my dad um, on my days off from school. And uh, my father, the superintendent that worked with my father, uh, he would, I would work 50% of the day, half the day with my dad in as a laborer, physically working, and the other 50% of my day I'd work in the office with the superintendent. Now, the superintendent uh, knew that I was in school, you know, getting my engineering degree, and had a brother-in-law that um, worked at an electrical uh, contracting company and was looking for intern help, you know, young engineers to start in the organization. So um, I was offered an opportunity to uh, come and uh, interview with them. And uh, the person was Steven Lazaro, the owner of Hellman Electric. So at that time, he was a project manager at Hellman Electric. And I interviewed with him. I got the uh, internship. And uh, I guess the rest is kind of history. <laughs> Absolutely. A great history. Years. Yeah. yeah. 23. Wow. 23 years. And, and, you know, you were talking about your early days starting as project engineer and uh, putting some hard knocks in and having a, a, a family, pretty much a family affair, you know, getting started. Yeah. You now are at a senior vice president level. You know, you rose through the ranks over the years, quite a journey there at Home and Electric. Can you tell us a little bit about what that process looked like for you uh, moving to where you are today? This was a blur. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, it's been amazing, actually. Um, you know, being an intern, then a project engineer, project manager, senior project manager, vice president, I've gone through basically every position in the project management team. And um, I, I cherish that. You know, it's something that I tell all of all of uh, the all my staff, especially the young engineers that come in from school, um, to enjoy these moments because what often when you're young you just want to move and you want to 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 grow quickly and you know you you hope to be able to uh, achieve project management status in a short period of time. And the one thing that, that I went through in my career in hitting all of those different um, uh, positions is just I grew and I learned. And, you know, it's just it helped me develop into what I do now. And, um, you know, that, that internship was – certainly very helpful working under um the the admin which was amazing you know and it's 
it's something that gave me the organizational skills to allow me to succeed in the next stage of development. So, you know, you learn from everybody and, and, uh, you know, those 23 years I've, I've come across some amazing people and, uh, learned a lot from those people. And I just, I hope, I hope the, uh, the youth of the company, you know, follow the same path and understand the importance of listening and going through those motions um, to really provide you with a solid foundation uh, to develop into, you know, a leader within the organization. So.